Look at that Pokeball it's in. <laughs> Beautiful. I love it. Oh wait, go back to the moves. Okay. Dynamax Cannon. It was. This move deals twice the damage to the target is Dynamax. That's neat, I guess. Yeah, too bad I wasn't Dynamaxed when it <laughs> used it. All right then. Are you ready to have a champion time, Lenny? Oh, uh, you bet I am. Wait, you have to register? I probably do. Hey. This is the final match. Championship. Sure. Doesn't face Leon. Change yeah. the uniform. I can do anything. Let's go, my dudes. Ah, oh, well, fuck. I guess this is the team. Oh, yeah, shit. <laughs> um, All right, this wait, will do. So who's his starting Pokemon going to be? I'll use Fletcher. It's a, it's, a, it's a good bet. Let's go, Eli. Let's go. Be the champion. champion. Don't give Don't up, give Eli. It's me. Yeah, that was, it was a nice touch that the ones on the left were all like for you and the ones on the right were like, Yeah, beat the fuck out of him, champion! They wouldn't Kick say fuck ass. in this game. Hey, don't do that. I'm a kid. My matches always sold out. But this... is sold yeah, out. Was, like my yeah. other matches. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a crowd this wild. They're literally strangling each other. Stop! Everyone knows what you did for us this week, Eli. <laughs> they know you're the one who caught Eternatus and saved the future of the Galar region. A real hero who battled alongside legendary Pokemon, Zack and Samantha. <laughs> I couldn't have dreamed of a better challenger to help increase my winning streak. Oh, fuck off. Now that I've seen just what kind of strength you possess as the greatest of challengers, Crashing you into the dirt will show everyone just how strong their champion truly is. Jesus Christ! Come on, Eli. Let's make this a final match that'll go down in Galar's history. No. A match that'll change Galar forever. We just had that. We're gonna have an absolutely champion time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Lenny, I'll shut up for the first... Minute, I guess. It's a the game. Oh, listen to the music. Shut the fuck up. talk now sure if you want to <laughs> i do like how he uses like uh the main theme well yeah the um oh, super effective hit. Really? i'd expect nothing less from your team it runs in the family fat guy yes it does run in the family it sure does yes. no, no, still feel yeah. right. it is it is cool that he uses the hall of fame Music. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Like that's well, cool. the main theme it's of this game technically because that's what you use it on the title screen. Well, yeah, that's cool because it, because the focus on the 
the gym challenge and stuff. Mm -hmm. But it's a lot more haha chill whims whimsical boop yeah. bloopity bleep bleep bloop than I was yeah, expecting. Yeah, and not not the same as like uh, as Iris is because that's also like whimsical and then woo. But I don't know, it's better to me. Oh, you think? Yeah. Well, I mean, I again, the like, Irish the crowd music. chanting and, like, the claps and stuff. Oh, son of... Why was it faster also? Hey, stop it, Leon. Don't do that. Ah, oh, there we go. Bye. D what move did it use? It was, like, a rock tag fake out or something? I wasn't paying attention. Drag up? Oh, cool. Finally. It's probably a vision to Dreepy. It's like oh. the one Pokemon we haven't seen evolved. Ghost Hooper. So it's it's the ghost type, right? Was it ghost type? The the dragon guy? Yeah. Little Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah was it? it was Ghost Dragon. Oh, I thought it was just speculation on our part. Whoa uh, hello. Does it have tiny little Dreepies in its, uh, thing? It's gonna fire oh, it gonna the Dreepies as rockets, probably? It's gonna, yeah, it is, it is. Oh my god. That's really silly. Come on. Man, it's fast. Well, maybe it has a signature move where it does that? Yeah. Don't... <laughs> oh, fuck. I kinda like it's weird. Stands like with little arms, like, ee, ee. <laughs> like oh, just yeah. floating, just floating. That does look really silly. It's kind of cute. Yes, cute. That's what I meant. Oh wait, that's probably a bad idea. <laughs> oh yeah, probably. Well, if Ignat survives, he's gonna kill it, presumably. Nice. I mean, for super effective hits, this is a surefire way to claim victory. Y y yes, it's their basic gameplay mechanics. Stop it. Get some help, both you and Hop. Quit being excited for basic mechanics. This needs to stop right now. <laughs> oh, here we uh, go. What's this? <laughs> Dude, R Gorilla is, is the final evolution oh! for... Oh! Fucking finally. Oh, Fletcher. Alright, this better be cool. Well, we, we saw it before. Well, didn't get like a good a look at it. Hmm. It's... I think it's probably... It's kind of cool. My favorite out of the three. I feel like all the starters in this game are kind of... Mm. Oh, like, I mean, I think these are definitely the most... Decent at best. Yeah, I think these are definitely the most decent starters yeah. we've had. Like, every generation there's like one starter around like, Oh yeah, this one is like my favorite. Oh, I love this one. And in this one, in well, here no, it's like... no, 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 no. Like, Gen 7 had two, hi two hits and one meh for me. Well, yeah, no, I mean, like, there's usually, like, a really big favorite where I can easily say, this one is my favorite, it looks really cool, I like it. But in this gen, it's like... I guess... I guess Cinderace is cute, I guess, yeah. yeah. I think Cinderace is probably the, the most liked one. Yeah, it's... But, it's, it's like, uh, like, I need to give Rillaboom another be a better look, I guess. But I think, I think Cinderace is my favorite. It's uh -huh. cute. All right. This, uh, I don't know if I want to set up a dragon dance. Hmm. 
probably If you're risky. not going to do Dragon Dance, Haxorus is going to do it. <laughs> oh boy. No! Oh god. Copycat. Dead. Chance for us! <laughs> Well, now it's stuck doing Outrage. True. If only I had a fairy type! Oh shit. I'll use this opportunity. Yes. To max revive his doopy poopy, maybe? So I can paralyze the Charizard? Yeah, you better start Later. getting those max revives. <laughs> Yeah, so... I mean, Sonya gives a billion for a reason. Even with all the leveling, this is the first battle that's actually a challenge. And it's fitting, honestly. But, I mean... It's kind of this is the only one, I guess. But, yeah. I do think... Oh, Onion. Oh, shit! Oh, it's not confused, though. Yeah. No, like, I... I do like yeah. that. Even with, like, the forced experience share and stuff, they made sure that the final battle wouldn't be- you wouldn't be overleveled. Lady, the crowd's actually singing along, you hear like, la 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 Oh god, really? La, la. You hear Oh my it? god, you're right. Okay, you're right. right now it's gonna be super, Okay, this is super good. This is super good. Well, I wouldn't call it super good, but it's not- it's at least not bad. <laughs> Um, okay, so now it's confused. Maybe we just go for for Fletcher. Yeah. Try to wreck it. Keeper being try. Uh, maybe I should... Actually... Do I lower my defense? First. Well, I'll probably be slower, so I guess it doesn't matter. Hit yourself, please. No! Oh, dang it! Sign Fletcher can survive this. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> You'd hate to see that happen. I mean, he can still hit himself right now. No! Oh, god damn it. It's like Fletcher, Wait, Fletcher will hang, hang on. on with one HP. You can do it. No. <laughs> well then, I'm gonna paralyze it. Oh, Stupid Poopy might be slower actually. Oh, nice. Yes. Actually, if it's using Outrage, I think I might have an idea. Okay, good. Well... <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Better start healing. No, 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 no. I'll only do it when it's absolutely necessary. Because it's confused and paralyzed, Lenny. True, but I mean, remember you still gotta deal with Kanto! I know. But that's fine. Come on, don't attack. Great, good. Oh, he might heal, actually. Oh, shit. He might. Oh, he didn't. Yes, he did. Oh, he did. It's fine, I have plus two defense, Lenny. This will be fine. And now it's just gonna critical. Oh god. Dude, I'm faster, so what if I just leech life to heal? I would, I would leech life. Yeah. No, what? I thought it was faster! Ooh. Are we having a speed tie? That's... Like, I used Coil and was faster twice. Oh, it was paralyzed. I'm an idiot. Oh, yeah. Lenny, we're dumb. 
Oh dear, come on. Come well, it'll on. Live. It'll yes. live, it's fine. But now the Charizard is coming to town. What are we gonna do about that? Hmm, I... Yeah. It's flying I type, buddy. Per yeah, paralyzing it is probably a good idea in any case. I don't have stupid poopy. Well, you have max revives. I have the stat buffs now, Lenny. So, what moves do I have? Leech Life, Flamethrower, and... Uh, Leech Life, Flamethrower, Crunch? and... I think so. We'll see if it uses... Well, I do want to Dynamax, I guess. It's fine. I'm not finished having a champ in time here. I won't let anyone else finish it for me! Hey. Oh, look at that dumb Charizard. Roar. Roar, it's me. Remember me? Yes. Well, let's see if I live. I'll show you what a Charizard can really do. It's Gigantamax time! So is Charizard some kind of developer's favorite Pokemon, or are they actually always battering to the Gen 1ers? Oh yeah. Charizard is the coolest. Oh no, yeah, totally. It's just uh, uh, pandering to Gen 1ers. Okay. And like, of all the Kanto starters, Charizard is the most popular, so yeah. If you're gonna oh, shield one of them, you better shield Charizard. And that's it. What's it gonna do? Oh, well! Well, shit. It's fine, I have plus two Goodbye. defense! <laughs> Goodbye. GG. Uh oh. Yeah, and also, uh, there goes our Dynamax. It's fine, I just have to wait two turns. Did it just fuck itself? Huh. Yeah, kind of. Well now. Uh, Use max revives. Why? It's not like they're gonna survive any move. Like, it doesn't matter if, like, if I use Max or regular revives. And none of them have, like... Mm. Yeah. None of them have, like, a way to stall for time until he's well, out of Dynamax. Yes, just by using regular revives. Yeah, all right. Hey. Do you really think I can max revive Stoopy Poopy and then paralyze him? No, no, I think you're right. It's the safest option to just... yeah. Hey, I'm cheating, Leon. Did I really... Hold up. Oh, there we oh, go! Oh, shit. Dude, look at the Dynamax squirrels. They're just moving with the Charizard model. Is that super oh, wow. weird? Yeah. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking oh, that storm. is so dumb. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I guess if I guess the the entire game lulls you into a false sense of security. Yeah, we're like, oh, it's a Pokemon game, whatever. But you can like, just oh. do whatever, and then. I could. I should have actually prepared for the final yeah. battle. But like, it's like, it's the champ, unbeatable champion for a reason. <laughs> so. Uh huh. Well, look, I'm gonna check who has the most defense. Wow. I don't think Ignatz can survive a lot of moves. 
Yeah, because probably not. all of them are super effective. But like, there's only one more move, and then it's back to normal, so... I know, but s still then. I still have to survive it then. I guess I can try paralyzing it. This is it gonna be down to the wire, Lenny? Stop! Or I can just keep using revives until it dies from the sandstorm. <laughs> oh my god, that'd be so lame. <laughs> Would it be? Wait, it's not tiny? Oh yeah, there we go. Well, actually, now the question is, do I just Thunderfang? Stoopy Poopy might be faster. Ah, this Lenny? is a tough one. This is a tough one, Fuck I don't know. It. Yes! You yes! Stupid puppy! Lenny, if anyone could win the champion's title for me, I guess it, it's too pee poopy. Just remember he that people all around the world will be talking about the incredibly Stoopy clutch Poopy. victory of Stupid Poopy. Poopy. I am sorry, I almost tossed you, Stoopy Poopy. The name Stoopy Poopy is now known all across the world. Yes. Hey, remember when Stoopy Poopy beat Leon's champ, the uh, Charizard? Yeah! Ah. Look at my ass, people! My time as a champion is over. But what a champion damn it's been! Thank you for the greatest battle I've ever had! You were beaten by a kid that started this journey, like, uh, I don't know, a few days ago? No, no, not a few days. Like, a week. Probably. A week is still a few days, Lenny. <laughs> Did the game crash? Hello? It's a really long load... Well, it's not a loading Holy screen, shit. because there was no screen. That was an incredibly long oh, loading Mom's time. Oh, watching. Great. Congratulations, Eli. You've beat even the unbeatable champion, making you the new champion of the region. You've become a first-rate trainer, all right. I offer you my heartfelt congratulations. Yay. Wow, look, it's me. Now you've grown so strong, perhaps it's time I start looking ahead myself time we adults started working on improving the here and now for the sake of all that's to come and you Eli what you ought to do now is believe in yourself and your partner Pokemon keep on blasting ahead hey, or to create that Marty. bright future we all hope to Marty. see Marty. can I rub your legs on the champion people of Galar here you have it a new legend born right before your eyes your champion Eli Marty Fat guy, 703. Marnie, can I rub your legs? Bet you can't wait to see what kind of future a kid with this kind of strength will build. I sure can't. Let's watch and see what he can do. Leon, make Marnie... Make, make Marnie... Make me rub Marnie's... Leon. Leon, I want to rub her legs. Oh, that's it? Good job ruining the ending. <laughs> with more feet talk. <laughs> legs, Lenny! Although, to be fair, it's kind of on brand at this point. Legs, not feet. Oh, look, it's a band. The band is playing. I don't think I want to hear that guy sing. So, uh... That was a game. Can I tell you how terrible the plot was in this game? I'm still debating whether or not it's worse than X and Y. It probably it is. is. Because as it's... As impossible as that seems. <laughs> it's not set up anywhere, then suddenly at the end, 
you you want to go eat with Leon, but then he's late, and then suddenly Oleana comes in and is like, Oh, uh, I hit the key, and that's probably evil. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> it's like, where did this evilness come from? Like, nothing made sense about that. Why were we just being horrible brats? <laughs> we want to eat with Leon, and that drove the plot along. If we weren't terrible brats, we wouldn't have known about anything. Man, look at all those story planning people. They sure did their job. Also, if we never went and interrupted Rose and Leon, what all difference of Toby Fox? Yay, Toby! What? Too bad Lenny. you're stuck in this game. Lenny. Lenny. What? What difference would it have made if we never interrupted Leon and Rose? Probably not. Nothing. Literally nothing. The same thing would have happened. Like that whole like raid of Rose's tower had zero stakes. Right? <laughs> oh man. I, I, just, I just going over that entire thing in my head is like <laughs> like was that supposed to be the equivalent of storming the Aether Foundation to rescue Lily? Yeah, wasn't it cool when Marnie came in for two or three battles against like the, the random sunglasses uh, against guy randos. was like, oh, yeah, support. Like that would have been cool in the final battle. I actually completely forgot about it. That n it only happened in the most not necessary at all, <laughs> random ass, stupid, easy grunt battle. It's actually amazing how terrible that entire section was. Oh my god. Like, you can't explain it. <gasps> oh. I mean, I guess you can say that they were more focused on the champion plots. And the Rose thing was more the B-plot, but... Yeah. I mean, come on! Yeah? Yeah, I mean, that's obviously the thing. The f main focus was on the champion plot, because it's like, Oh yeah, this region loves fighting and the gym challenge and stuff. And that's like, oh yeah, but we, st we still need, like, a plot with, like, the legendary and shit. Okay, what do we do? Okay, um... Sure. No problem. <laughs> oh, all oh is ne forgiven. never mind. Fucking all 10 out of 10 game. Forgiven. Fucking 10 out of 10 game. Yes. Oh, Lenny, that was perfect. Oh, that ending. Oh, oh my god. Did you see those sheep? Oh my god. Did you see how they were rolling? It was so adorable. And those little. Dude, that was incredible. Little, little, little sheep sounds. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was so cute. Wait, is my... Oh, I didn't touch the controller. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. I wanna... Oh, are we gonna be there now? Oh, that's cool. You're on the title screen. Okay, I, I was gonna wait to see if the title screen was different. And it is. Perfect. That's Good. a neat touch. Good. You didn't drop the ball, Game Free. Good job. Lenny, Game Free can't even find the ball anymore. <laughs> they lost the ball years ago. <laughs> They, they settled for a little ping pong ball and were like, yes, this'll do. They lost the ball sometime after Black and White 2. Yeah. It's like some intern dropped the ball and they've never been able to find it anymore. And the fans like really like are knocking on the bill and like, we got the ball! Let us in! <laughs> and they refuse to let anybody in. Oh my god. Well then, that was an experience. Are you ready for post game in the next recording session? I guess. Or like, I wonder how much post game there will be. Probably not that much, but we'll see. Hmm. So yeah. There's gonna, there's gonna yeah. be like a small, 
like episode something. Yeah. Like the the what's it called in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire? Well, like there's the Delta, the Delta episode. The Delta episode yeah, then and then the, the episode the, UB the rocket, are probably in the uh, R stuff. And then the episode the rocket RR. Stuff. Yeah, episode RR. Man. There's gonna be something probably, but we'll see. You know, why did it have to be Rose? Couldn't this evil just have awakened a la Fire Emblem? Well, yeah, maybe this. Yeah, that's the thing. Rose was like collecting this amount of energy to like, you know, help power the region and stuff. And then suddenly, like, it, like the uh, Eternatus was awakened, or maybe sensed like the energy and attacked. And it was like, oh shit, what the fuck is this? Yeah, I didn't. Ex I didn't expect this to happen. What the hell is this? And then uh -huh. it was like, oh shit, maybe I shouldn't have done all these evil things. And also, what's the whole thing about uh, Rose being like, Leon, the world is ending. We gotta do something. And Leon being like, no, the battles are cool. <laughs> but the battles, though. But we gotta do the battles. People like the battles. Who cares if the world is ending? What about Bede? Like. Rose just, was just being a dick about that, like, oh, go collect some wishing stars, thanks. And you know what's really funny? Yeah? No, actually? When, well, when I started... The stuff, well, but sure. well, when we started this recording session... Yeah? I was thinking, like, okay, so how much time do we have to record? Are we, are we really gonna do all the plot stuff in this recording session? Yes. <gasps> Boy, did I overestimate this game! <laughs> that was over in, like, 30 minutes. <sighs> yeah, like X and Y. Like I, I actually think the plot might might have been over faster than X and Y. Oh, I think it was. Well, at least we didn't battle Rose three th like, three times in the span of, like, of an hour. There is literally one single thing that already proves that X and Y took longer with the plot. Yeah. X and Y had a had an evil team hideout you had to go through. Yeah. What did this game have? You take an elevator and fight three people. Yeah, this game has an obsession with el elevators. We took an elevator to battle like three sets of people, and then we fought, fought Oliana. What was that about, by the way? Like what, fighting Oliana? Yeah. I don't know. She's like, a what was her bitch. deal? I don't know. Lenny, I'm just, like, <laughs> call me crazy, but I think this game might have been rushed. What? No, what makes you say that? I, I don't know, it's just this <laughs> feeling I have. <laughs> well, I know, maybe, maybe we need to take a little break and collect our thoughts and process everything that happened so that what? next recording session we can have, I like, a full <laughs> dissertation on this game. <laughs> I'm gonna make a PowerPoint presentation, don't worry. Please do. No. Like... It's just, I tried to gather my thoughts about, like, the last recording session, the whole storming of the building. I and wasn't able to do work. that. <laughs> and I got a lot more stuff to think about. Like... The... The, the parts I enjoyed the most about this game was just the like the the beginning experiencing a fresh Pokemon game with you for like the first time seeing oh look at this new Pokemon oh look at that look at that look at that but the further we got the 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 less cool that stuff became and we we sort of got into the the, the the, the, the we plot got into the game, yeah. And well, the not plot, really. And there was like, oh, whoops, no plot. Yeah, it's like if I played this on my own, this probably would have been my the least fun time I had with a Pokemon game. Period. Oh, dude, for sure, for sure. Thank God I played it with you. Yeah, and I mean, like, again, like this, like. We, I, we pretty much literally said this in one of the first videos, like, yeah, in the beginning it's gonna be really fun and cool because like, I'll experience a new Pokemon game and seeing all the new Pokemon and stuff, but once that charm wears off... 
And yeah. that's exactly what happened. So yeah, need I remind you, this is um, the best and fastest selling Switch game period ever. Well, actually game ever, I think. No, Switch game. Are you sure? Well, it's not the fastest selling game of all time ever. Are you sure? I am pretty sure, yeah. Still. Nothing beats... Uh, the fa what was the other fastest on game? I want to say either like GTA 5 maybe or... Oh, maybe. Was Still, this game doesn't deserve that title or anything at all. I hate how so much noise about this game was made. Literally everyone knew about it. And like, it, it was actually actively making the game sell better. <laughs> because everybody was making noise. Like, you know what might make Pokemon better? Stop making noise! Ah, oh, I just want them to take a break for... I don't know, three years? Five years? Something? However long it, however long, however long it takes to make something that's not shit. We also, also yeah. by the way, so you know what the fast selling game is? Tell me. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. No, this game beat it. No. Yes, it did. That was the whole point. Like this game is is outselling any Switch game. So if Ultimate is a fast selling game, then this game beat it. Maybe the, the numbers aren't up yet. But that was all, the whole thing. Like, this game beat out... Wait, actually, yeah, you're right. ...any Switch fuck? game. Yeah. So it's the fastest selling game ever, Lenny. We might... You might be wrong about this. But whatever the case may be, it sold insanely well and insanely fast. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't deserve that at all. Like, after this end game, like, let me... Dick out that. When we first started playing this game, I was like, well, you know what? Maybe I've been a bit of a sourpuss in the past and during Ultra Sun and Moon. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's... Sure, Game Freak is lazy, but the games are still serviceable, I guess. But then, that was just because the game was new and it was cool to experience this new game, but then when we got to the actual stuff that's supposed to be good about the game, there was nothing. Or just, there was just fair... <sighs> Well, there's just very little that actually makes this game stand out and be cool. Yeah, I think like everything about this game is like everything about this game is like a 5 out of 10 effort. It's like, oh, do the wild area. That's a cool idea. Oh, yeah, but it's it's all empty and yeah, it's not not that much to oh, do. Wild area so is like a 3 whatever. to 4 out of 10 money. <laughs> It's kind of bad. <laughs> like every, every time they try something, it's like, oh, they're trying a little bit, but oh, but it, it's it's kind of lackluster, and there's so many ways it could have been easily improved, and if they had more time, yeah. Yes, that's, that's how just the game biggest is. issue. Is just the time. And they have to make these games because the whole Pokemon machine has to keep going. The anime, the card game, video game, all has to come out at the same time. Yeah, well, I mean, to be fair, there were rumors that um, uh, Creatures Inc. Well, no, the thing is that Nintendo bought, like, a huge share of Pokemon or whatever, so they own the majority now. And apparently there were a lot of, like, a ton of um, job listings for very high positions at, uh, the, I think, Creatures Inc., I think. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, like, some people are thinking, like, maybe they are doing something. Well, you know what's sad I, about I think all it's this? a bit I think it's a bit wishful thinking. Oh yeah. Because it's still fast the fast selling game ever and stuff, but like Yeah. It's like, maybe who Nintendo cares? did listen they... to like yeah, we got a lot of sales and stuff, but bad publicity. Normally they wouldn't care because hey, look at all this money, but I don't know. Yeah. Like but, who cares if you got bad publicity? You got the money. Yeah. And the saddest thing about this, this, about this is like 
the bad publicity is going to catch up with him at some point. And that's a point where an actual good Pokemon game is going to release. And that's actually going to sell badly. <laughs> By then, it's going to be too late. Yeah. But, oh man, I really, really want a good Pokemon game. Someday. Like, actually, what would you prefer, <laughs> Paper Mario fans, to have the se a good series that, like, sort of died? Or a series that just keeps sh shitting out terrible stuff? I'd yeah, zombie have series. The zombie series, that's actually good in my memory. Instead of seeing a series... No, 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 Pokemon is the zombie series. Oh, well, yeah. Because Pokemon is dead, but they keep reviving it. Like, no Pokemon games, even though it's like uh, the corpse that they're dressing up nicely. Yeah. I just... I wouldn't... I couldn't care less if Pokemon just died. <laughs> like... And then, and then suddenly after 10 years it gets a revival. Wouldn't that be cool? And that's actually good. Like, you can't... Re you can remember some Pokemon games fondly, but the recent ones? <laughs> I guess I remember Sun and, Sun and Moon fondly? Yeah, Sun and Moon again, was good. Th that might have been because, again, I played it with you. But, yeah, well, Sun and Moon was still better. Oh, way better. Sun and Moon was like an entirely different level of like better. Like they're on different wavelengths, those two games. Yeah, they, they still dropped the ball on some stuff in Sun and Moon, but they didn't drop it as much as, as yeah. this game. <laughs> like I'd still give Sun and Moon like at least a seven. Yeah. Maybe an yeah. eight even. This is like a five. Why are you being so generous? Because <laughs> there's still a lot of stuff I like about this game. Yeah, but there's so much I don't like. Yeah. I guess it's a Pokemon game, and they didn't fuck that up. <laughs> like, it's it just, the thing is just I'm more positive in general, so I always will see things better than you. But... So, like, I, I'd give it a five. I wouldn't... Even... Hmm. Like, I don't know. Because even the gameplay, the main gameplay, has been... Well, has been dumbed down. Like, you can easily get a lot of moves right out of the gate. You level insanely fast. The entire game is just... Like, you could easily just do a rush to the end. Like, there's no real... Ooh, my, my Pokemon got Light Screen or Reflect. I'm gonna keep that on my team because, hey, it might be good to use at some point. Well, no, because you're high enough level, so just use attacking moves. Just have more coverage, so you don't have to put in more effort. Like, remember how hard the Getz's battle was at the end of Black and White? I definitely had to... Think about what I had, what I was gonna do in that battle. Yeah. Yeah. And sure, you got you got a, a bit like the champion was a bit harder in this game, but it still wasn't like insane. Like if I'd actually planned a bit, it would have been a cakewalk. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm I'm not sure. I, I I'm also not sure how I feel about the forced experience here. Like, in the grand scheme of things, I guess it doesn't matter. But yeah, still, you see you see what it does. Yeah, like... The thing is... Well, okay, here's the thing. I think experience share in, like, in this game, that's, like, a good thing for, like, if you have a Pokemon that's weak. Yeah. Like, you, like say, oh, you just got a Pokemon. Oh, but yeah, but it's kind of weak, so it's not really that easy to use. With the, with the experience share, bam, you can level it up pretty easily. And then it's like on level with your team, and then you can use it. That's good. But there are also the candies that do that exact thing, exact same thing. Oh shit! So then, you're right, why actually. is the experience share still there when the candies do that? Yeah. 
And you get those insanely fast. Yeah, so... Like, they did the experience share for a reason. But that reason is solved by this other item in the game. And probably better, even. Yeah. It's true. Because you can just fight the Dynamax Pokemon with your strong team members, get some candies, and then get the Wii Pokemon up really fast. Yeah. 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 I'm not sure if I feel worse than after Ultra Sun and Moon. I think I do. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, I think in overall, I... Well, I don't know. Ultra Sun and Moon did ruin a lot about well, that's Sun the thing. and Moon. Su well, that's the thing. Sun and Moon, good games. Ultra Sun and Moon, like, they took the good games and made it a bit worse. Yes. Fuck some stuff up. Yeah. And then this is a brand new game, brand new region. And they fucked some shit up. So I think that is a bigger no-go than... Yeah. yeah. Well, no. Isn't it a bigger crime to take a game and make it worse? <laughs> like... Yeah, actually, you're probably people, right. A lot of people didn't like, uh, like Diamond whole, and Pearl because the like game the was so slow. Yeah, and, and then Platinum, Platinum fixed solved it. a lot about that. Yeah, like, pla like the thing, Platinum makes playing Diamond and Pearl completely obsolete. Yeah, Platinum is the only way to play Generation 4. Or, well, you know, uh, Hard Gold, Soul Silver, sure, but like the core Generation the 4. The Sinnoh games. Yes. If you want to play Sinnoh, you can only play Platinum. Oh, Lenny. Sino remakes. Hell yes, Sino remakes. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I mean, if the next game is the next games they announce are the Sino remakes, I'm probably not gonna buy them, unless unless they can find a way to impress me. But I kind of doubt that'll happen at this point. So wait, we'll actually, see. you wouldn't buy it? No, I wouldn't. The reason I bought these games is because it's a new generation with new Pokemon. Uh huh. If it's a remake of Diamond and Pearl, eh, whatever. I'll just wait for the next generation when there's actually new Pokemon and stuff and a new region to explore, because that's the stuff that I want out of a Pokemon game. If I want to experience Sinnoh, I'll just play Platinum. Yeah, you know, the Dexit definitely wasn't the, the, the biggest problem with this game. Yeah, that's the thing. People complaining about Dexit was always like, dude, I don't care about that stuff. There's a bigger fish to fry in this game. Yeah, but I still think uh, the Switch or Pokemon Home would benefit from a uh, core battling facility. Yeah, where, where also just can... the fact that, like, oh yeah, so Pokemon Sword and Shield are going to come out in uh, November of 2019. And uh, yeah, not all the Pokemon will be there, but it's okay, because you, you'll have Pokemon Home. And with that, you can safely keep all your favorite Pokemon from all the past games. Sometime in 2020. Yeah, also, you take a prisoner. Why didn't they just release? Why did it just release alongside Pokemon Sword and Shield? Like, that would have. I actually well, think people would be less upset if that happened. Lenny, if, if, if you bring Pokemon over to Pokemon Home, they're actually prisoners. Because you oh, can yeah, only can bring them, them back. Two. You can bring them back. Yeah. So that's, that's actually like, that doesn't work at all with the Dexit. And that's like a, a thing people have a lot of problems with. Because once you bring your Pokemon over to Pokemon Home, a lot of them might just be stuck in Pokemon Home. And then what are you going to do with them? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm really curious think... where this series is going to go. Yeah, so, yeah. How long was this, like post game post credits discussion is, is it going to be an entire is there going to be an, are you going to upload an entire video of just us complaining at the title screen while we're at the title screen surely i will oh boy that'll be a fun one people enjoy that lenny the game free complaint hour starring yeah. bad guy and lenny 
Yeah, but I guess it like, the, like to put a to put a bow on the discussion. Like a lot of these um, opinions and and worries, and uh, well, just or or conversations about Game Freak come from from a place of, of passion. Like we want this to be so good, and it never is. Like. Like, I've, about... I've, I've said this multiple times now, but the perfect, the thing that sums up perfectly is the more you love Pokemon, the more you hate Game Freak. Yes. Like, thinking about what all of this could have been and can be just makes me sad. Yeah. I guess that's how some people feel about Color Splash. Like, oh, it could have been so much better if it was like T2ID. And I get it, but Pokemon is so much worse in that regard. Like, there's barely any saving grace. Aside from like, ah, look at like the little bits of polish along the way. Like, yeah, like bits of polish. About. Oh, the Pokemon designs are nice. Yes. And the music is pretty good. Like, they, they waxed up their pile of shit a bit. Yeah. Yeah. They polished it to a sheen, well, not really, because the graphics are still kind of shitty. But, like, they polished it and threw some glitter on it. Yeah. Put some perfume on the shit. There we go. Yeah. It's fixed. <laughs> and then and then worked for six months to, to uh, use the shit to grow grass. Hmm. <sighs> Alright, I think we've been complaining for long enough now. Wait, why are you so complaining about complaining? I'm just worried that this video will get too long. Like that that's impossible. 